Hey guys, it's Aislinn and in today's video we're going to be trying a new color remover that I have had purchased for like six months and I just haven't used it. So today is the day we're going to try color exchange. So I bought this a while ago off of Amazon. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. It has pretty good reviews. I'll also leave a link to this wig in the description down below. It's the best synthetic wig I've ever gotten. I'm so glad I chose this one instead of the other one that I was thinking about getting. I did have to cut the bangs a little bit to make them a little bit shorter, but I love this wig so much. So I'll leave a link down below for you guys. Anyway, back to the hair color remover. So we're gonna try the color remover today. It comes with two parts. One part is the phase out, and then the second is the lock-in. I'm guessing this is just like a deep conditioning mask. Let me unveil myself so we can see the true form. <laughs> All right, let me take down my hair. And look, I accidentally cut a little piece of my hair when I was trimming the bangs, but it's fine. Probably needed a little trim anyway. Let me take down my hair so I can show you guys the current fade out of this rainbowness. If you don't know, I tried Pravana Neons um, a while ago. It's been like a month now since I tried the Pravana Neons and I really liked them, but the fade out has been pretty inconsistent. I did deepen the pink and the orange. I'll leave a link to that video up there in case you wanna check it out. But I did deepen the pink and the orange and it still faded out quicker than the other colors. It doesn't look horrible but I mean the purple the pink and the orange are kind of gone so my hair is kind of just like a yellow and green and blue mess you guys can see like right in through here like the pink is pretty much gone in through these areas it just looks like I have like yellowy green hair it doesn't really look rainbow to me anymore these front two pieces are also fading pretty inconsistently the yellow is just so vibrant compared to the other colors if they were all fading consistently I wouldn't try and remove the color um, in the past when I've used like Arctic Fox or other colors it always fades so beautifully and evenly, but for some reason, the Pravana Neons, there's just a lot more pigment in the yellow and the green than there is in the pink and the orange. So it's just really inconsistent. And the yellow is like in my face. The yellow's like, bitch, I'm here. So I want it to be a little bit less in my face. Like, God, the yellow is still so neon and like the pink is almost non-existent at this point. So I just would like to fade pretty much the yellow and the green a little bit more. I'm also ready to re-dye my hair. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. I'm all over the place. One day I wanna dye it a different color. The next day I wanna dye it something else. So I just wanna get this color out so I can really decide what I wanna do. Let me tell you a little bit about the color exchange. So when I bought this, I did not know that Malibu actually owns this company. So if you guys know Malibu CPR, I've done a video on that, leave it up there for you guys. But I love Malibu CPR, it works pretty well and it's not damaging, it doesn't have any bleach or ammonia in it, it's gentle on the hair and it fades the color relatively well. It's very similar to a vitamin C treatment, it's just a little bit more gentle on the hair so I prefer to use that now instead of vitamin C treatments. So when I got this, in the mail, I was looking at the ingredients and everything, and at the bottom it says distributed by MWI Labs, and it's manufactured in Indianapolis, Indiana, which you guys know I live in Indiana. Um, so I decided to Google MWI Labs, and that means Malibu Wellness. Um, so Malibu owns Color Exchange. It's one of those things where Malibu CPR is a professional product. You can't get it unless you went to cosmetology school and you have a license. Um, and then Malibu makes the exact same product with the exact same ingredients and consumers, anybody can buy this one. But for some reason, Malibu CPR is off limits only to stylists. So the logic, make it make sense. I took a Malibu CPR, looked at the ingredients and they are identical. There is not one ingredient that is different from Malibu CPR and color exchange. They are the exact same, but for some reason, one of them, you have to pay $20,000 to get a cosmetology license to purchase and they don't let consumers buy it. It says, gently and easily lift semi-permanent hair color with this vitamin-based color treatment while you sleep. Bitch, while you sleep, I don't think so. See, it's so interesting that it's the same company, the same ingredients, but the instructions are different. Like Malibu CPR would never be like sleep with this in. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, let's continue. Prepare phase out and apply to hair before bed. Then shampoo and rinse out in the morning. 
This versatile formula cannot be overprocessed and can be immediately followed with color or bleach. For a boost of hydration, follow with color exchange lock-in intensive hair mask. So yes, second step is just a intensive hair mask. Use on freshly washed towel dried hair. Fill a non-metallic bowl with four ounces of room temperature water. Slowly add in the crystals and stir until fully dissolved, formulating a gel. Work gel into hair thoroughly. Put on processing cap and leave in overnight. In the morning or at, after at least eight hours, rinse and shampoo thoroughly until water runs clear. Dry hair and apply new color exchange color. Follow new color with color exchange lock-in intensive hair mask to condition the hair and lock in the color. If you choose not to apply the new color, simply condition your hair with color exchange lock and intensive hair mask directly after rinsing out, phase out. Okay, I will not be sleeping with this in my hair. It's kind of insane that they recommend you to do that. So I'm gonna fill up my bottle with four ounces of warm water. I'm gonna dump the crystals in here and I will be back so we can start applying this on my hair. I did just wash my hair yesterday, so it is very clean. I'm also gonna run my hair under some water and make it a little bit damp so that way it's easier to spread the product throughout my hair. Let me go do these things and I'll be right back. We back, baby. We got our warm water. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump all of these crystals in here. And if you guys don't know, whenever I do the vitamin C treatment or a color remover that is similar to this, like Malibu CPR or any of the other color removers that are basically vitamin C treatment, I like to add a couple pumps of some dandruff shampoo in there. This is my favorite. It's the Equate version. I'll leave a link to the shampoo in the description down below. It's literally $6 for this big liter. And when I'm trying to fade out my hair color and I I wash my hair in the shower. That's normally what I like to use. I also sometimes will use the Malibu Undo Goo, but this has a pH of nine, so it always makes my hair feel super dry. But normally I mix this with the Equate shampoo and um, use that on my hair when I'm trying to fade out color. All right, so we have this mixed up. You can see the whole bottle is like full now. I'm gonna add a pump of the shampoo in here. It always makes it easier to apply, makes it frothy. I just feel like it works a lot better. Adding the shampoo really helps work the product into the hair because it becomes really like frothy and you get a bunch of suds and stuff. So it really helps to evenly distribute the product. Also, I don't like the smell of these products. They kind of have like a vinegar smell to them and um, I just don't like it. I'm kind of sensitive with smells and I really don't like the smell of these type of color removers. So adding the shampoo in there kind of eliminates that fragrance and you just smell the shampoo more than the other products. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this and I will be doing two rounds today. If you don't know, I like to do two rounds of the vitamin based color removers. I always feel like it works better. And honestly, I would recommend doing two rounds instead of sleeping in it overnight. That seems a little bit excessive to me. Again, very interesting that Malibu CPR has the exact same ingredients and everything and the same company makes them, but they tell you to sleep in one and they don't tell you to sleep in the other one. As far as what hair color I'm gonna do next, I honestly have no idea. I was gonna do like a neon green and purple, but I don't think that's a good idea. Now I'm kind of thinking I should just do rainbow again, but like a different pattern of rainbow. I change my hair a lot. And you guys know this year I am on a hair health journey. I'm not changing my hair as often as I have in the past. I'm trying to stick with colors. And if I do remove them, I'm trying to do like vitamin C treatments or color oops. So that's my goal, you know, taking care of my hair. And with taking care of my hair, I am trying not to dye it as often and remove colors as much. I could dye it like every other day if I wanted to, but I don't want to strip the color out because the dye I'm using is not damaging, but I don't wanna to have to keep doing color removers on my hair. Even if it's a vitamin C treatment or something like this, I still don't want to be doing this that often. You know, I'd rather just let the color fade out naturally when I shampoo it instead of having to impulsively remove the color. So what I've learned over the past year, if I have blonde hair, or if I have rainbow hair, I'm normally fine. I don't really feel the impulse to remove the color. I can keep it for months and months, and I'm not like, oh, I need to change this right now. Like I'm not reaching for bleach to try and strip out the color. So I think it's probably best if I just keep the rainbow hair or I keep blonde hair 
and maybe like dye some wigs some fun colors. Another thing I've noticed the past like seven months while I've been growing out my hair, obviously I'm trying not to impulsively dye it. And like literally the beginning of this week, I wanted to dye it neon green and purple so bad. And I was like, yes, I'm gonna dye it neon green and purple. And then I just didn't feel like filming and I just didn't have like the willpower to get up and film. And so like a week or so went by and then I like got over it and I was like, I don't even want green and purple hair anymore. So it's like, if I just wait and don't come in here and impulsively dye my hair normally, the feeling of wanting those colors passes and like I'm fine and I'm over it and I don't even want those colors anymore. So that's what I've learned. Don't impulsively dye your hair because then you're just going to be removing it the next week. Just sit on those colors and think about it. Just be like, do I really, really want these colors? Do I really want these colors? And normally after like a week or two, the feeling passes and I don't even want those same colors I once wanted. The only time I normally don't change my mind about colors is if it's rainbow or if it's blonde or like a silver color. Okay, so the product is completely saturated on my hair. It feels pretty slimy and gel-like. So I have the product worked in really well. So while this processes, I like to put a heating cap on my head. So this is a cap that just slides on your hair and it's heated on the inside. You just plug it in. It has several different settings on it. So having heat on your hair really helps strip out the color. If you're not gonna use any sort of heat, it's not gonna remove as much color as it would if you were putting heat on your hair. So I'm gonna put a shower cap on and then put my heating pad on and I'm gonna let this process for 45 minutes. That's typically how long you would let a vitamin C treatment or something along these lines process for. So I'm gonna let this process for 45 minutes under heat and then I will be back and we can do a round two. Okay, first round is done. And when I was washing it out, I did see quite a bit of yellow. That's the only color I saw um, coming out of my hair. So hopefully it did fade that yellow a little bit. It still looks very, very vibrant. So we're gonna go ahead and do a second round. Second one always does more than the first one. I still have like over half of my product left in here. I love that new heating cap I got. It literally makes my life so much easier. Before I had that heating cap, I just put like a heating pad on top of my head with a towel draped over the top. So it made <laughs> me sitting there hard because I couldn't really see anything. So I'm very glad that my hairstylist Catherine got me that. I will leave a link to uh, a heating cap like that in the description down below. If you do a lot of hair color removers or hair dyeing and stuff, definitely spend the extra money and get you one of those because it makes such a big difference. The second treatment always is more frothy and easier to saturate than the first one. Okay, so I still have quite a bit of product left, but I'm just gonna use it all. I don't plan on doing a third treatment or anything. Also, if you have really thick, like long hair and you would have to buy like five packs of this color remover, adding that shampoo in there makes the product go longer. Like you don't have to buy as many packets because adding the shampoo makes it lather easier and it also just creates more product by adding the shampoo in there. Shower cap back on. I'm gonna put my heating pad back on. I'm gonna let this one sit for 45 minutes to an hour and then I will come back tomorrow and show you the finished result. I don't wanna have to blow dry my hair today. I would rather just let it air dry. So I will either come back later tonight once my hair has air dried naturally or I will be back tomorrow and I will not be wearing any makeup. So I'll see you at some point later on in the future. All right, you guys, I am back. It's the same day, just a lot later. And my hair is now dry and I can actually tell a significant difference in before and after. The yellow here is still pretty vibrant. I think doing like a couple more rounds would make it more of the same shade as like over here. But this part of my hair is a lot healthier than like down here and like down here. Obviously this part of my hair has only been bleached once and I've not done like any harsh color removers on it. So it's a lot healthier. It holds on to pigment a lot more. But over here, so much of the color has come out. It's insane. Like on this side too, a lot of the color came out. When I rinsed it out again, I saw a lot of yellow tones going down the drain. So I think it predominantly got rid of like the yellow and the green. I feel like the green especially, like this used to be still pretty vibrant and now it's 
just like a pastel color. So I think I'm gonna live with this for a while. Maybe in a couple weeks, I'll do Malibu CPR just to fade this section a little bit more. If this was faded, it would all look really good. And I actually really like the like opal pastel rainbow. All of this is really pretty. It also faded the purple a little bit too. Overall, it did a pretty good job at removing the color from my hair. I did go ahead and use the deep conditioning mask that it came with, so like the phase two. And when I was putting it in my hair, it smelled so familiar. And then I realized it is the exact same thing as the Malibu Replenish hair mask. Obviously I told you color exchange, Malibu, same thing. Malibu owns color exchange. So that deep conditioning mask they include with the color remover is the same thing as this. So if you do get this hair color remover and you like the mask that it comes with, you can always buy the actual bottle of it so that way you have more of it. Cause I actually really like this mask. It's thick, it smells nice, it works really good. So I was pleasantly surprised with the deep conditioning mask and when I rinsed out the product I went ahead and used Malibu undo goo to really make sure and get all of the product off of my hair and then again just followed up with that deep conditioning mask my hair feels totally fine it doesn't feel damaged or anything again it's not a bleach based color remover it has no ammonia in it it's not going to damage the hair like a bleach based color remover would that's why I like to do this method it's subtle change but the more you do them the more change you're going to see in your hair and you get to keep the integrity of your hair and it also doesn't lift your regrowth, which I absolutely love. As you guys know, growing out my regrowth, so I don't want to use any color removers that will lift any part of this regrowth. I will leave a link to the color exchange color remover in the description down below in case you guys are interested in purchasing it. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. The link to that is in the description down below. I post way more of my everyday life on there. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much. And until next time, guys, stay weird. Bye.